but I, you know, I've just seen over the years a lot of guys try to offenses go out and try to do what somebody else does, and it just doesn't work. Uh, you know, because the guys aren't used to that, and the terminology is different, or you got to change everything around, and maybe it doesn't really fit exactly what your personnel does. So I think it's just a matter of. You look at what they do and say, okay, how how does that work in our system? And if it does, then you steal it. Back to Chris. <laughs> you guys made the decision, I guess, later in the last game to double up Evans. Uh, did you think about doing that earlier, or was that almost like a last resort after you? Well, kind of going in, statistically, we kind of thought, you know, the the other way around that we we needed to double the other guy, and so we kind of figured out that we were having a tough tough day with Evans back there, so we, we ended up doubling him, and it, it helped us certainly in the second half, but uh, we really thought we were still okay until the first play, about the first series there of the second half, and they hit the one down the sideline, and we said, okay, we got to go do this, so that's what we did. It seems like you have not really yeah, paid the price on the back end for blitzing this year. Very often, if at all, is that your good sense of when to call it? Is that the effectiveness of the blitz? Is there an element of luck to it? Is, is well, I hope it's more than luck, but I don't. I don't really think it's necessarily my timing of when I'm calling it. I just think it's guys are made aware of when we do this. These are the vulnerable spots, and so we got to take care of those. Don't you know? Don't uh, don't sell the ranch and think that you're always going to get there you know we got to we got to act in the back end as if the blitz is not going to get home and therefore just don't give up the big play has the hit rate been good on that it's not bad not bad i mean it can always be better back to christian mccaffrey is there is there anybody that he reminds you of that you coached against or maybe a combination of guys uh, i don't know he's got his own style he, he just he's kind of his own He's just one of those guys that, you know, it's like when Barry Sanders played for Detroit. He was just such an integral part. It, it's different because Sanders wasn't necessarily out as a receiver and doing all those things. But, it, you know, he's just one of those guys that is such an integral part of the entire offense. It's just hard to see a guy up there in the league stats as a receiver and as a running back and total yards and all that stuff. It just He's a dynamic guy I know this is way way before all you guys' time but it's like uh, Metcalf back when he was with the Cleveland Browns I mean they could just put him everywhere that they want to put him and he was such a hard matchup for everybody but I know it's a long long time ago but that's different style but kind of that kind of a guy to their offense